welcome back to channel asset cuber so in this video you're gonna see how to do the mega mix cube or the pentagon cube so this cube is called also called a, a pentagon cube because this cube has uh, one side has five edges so that is why it's called a pentagon too now this cube might look really big but i'm here to make it really easy for you so first of all let's see how many sides this has so one two so these were the base and the upper color now on on the base color you're gonna have five on each side five colors on each side so that makes six a total of seven with counting the upper color and these five so it's gonna be total 12 so this cube has 12 sides and you can see on each side um you're gonna have one two three four five five edges and five corners and only one big pentagon pentagon middle piece so yes there that's all for the colors now the rotations are gonna be same so this is gonna be r this is gonna be r dash this is gonna be l dash this is gonna be l so now uh the u the f and the d is gonna depend on how you're holding it, the q so i suggest you to do it as i take because you know the steps will be a bit easy for you now sometimes i'm gonna hold the cube a bit tilted so that the right uh, right and left and up is gonna be proper to me yes now i'm gonna scramble my cube now i scramble my cube and i got this oh my god look at the cube as it has 12 sides look how scrambled this cube looks but it's not actually hard it looks it's really easy now i'm going to tell you the steps for solving this cube so first like we do in a three by three you're going to get a cross and in the cross the cross in the mega mix looks like a star okay so yes after the star we are going to get the corners just like we do in a three by three then we do the second layer just like we do in the three by three again then we do this this layer yeah then after after you solve this uh this layer you're gonna get these solved too that means you have to do second layer for this the upper five colors and after that only the top layer so that's all for the steps now for now for the first step we want to get the cross so for getting the cross um you need to find all the edge pieces first so edge pieces with the white so i can find one here i can find one two here so there are three now after three i can find these two here now pick any one let's just go with the blue one now blue has to come here and match up with the white color now that means uh this for getting this edge piece all the way here or here or here or here we first want to take it on the upper layer see now it's on the top layer but now take it where you want it so i know if i just do f2 it's gonna match up with the uh, blue middle piece now yes i did f2 and it matched with the blue middle piece now just match this white color with the white middle piece so you can again do f2 or if that or f dash 3 to get it done now now let's go with the other one let's go with green so green it's already on the down five colors and it has to come all the way here 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 so now i can i know i can get it here because these both pieces are the same and the other color is matching with this middle piece so let's just match it by doing an f f for me now see i matched it with the green 
Now, after you match it with the green, the white color, you want to match it with the white middle piece. So, you just match it. See, it's that easy. Now, the next one I can see right here. So, I'm going to go with this, which is yellow. Now, yellow is all the way here. Now, that means first I have to take it on the upper layer because upper layer is the most movable and you can just go to middle pieces to middle pieces. Now, for first getting it up, you can just do F2 or F-3 to get it. Now, take it near the middle piece which you want to fit it with. Now, for getting this down, like I told you before, you want to do F2 or F. So if I did um, F F dash 2, it didn't match. So that means it can come here and then it can match. So that means first I'll take this this edge piece all the way here. So you can do an F to bring it there. Now after you bring it up here, you can match it with this clearly. So see you just matched it and after you match it with the uh, middle piece you want to match with the other color for me the other color is white and you can just match it by doing f dash 2 f dash 3 or f dash f 3 now this one so this one it has to come all the way here now for getting it again you can get it on the top layer which is really easy to go middle pieces to middle piece now i want to get it as near as i can get it to the middle piece with the other color so as it is red i'll go with the red now first let's see if we get it down here does it match so see it didn't match so this is the older case where we have to get it up here and then match it now for getting it up just do just move the front layer once and then you want to twist the cube a bit and then again move the front leg once so that it matches with the middle piece. Now again, the second color is white so I want to match it with the white middle piece. So see, now the last one which is purple is already matched with it. So hooray. And just get it back down so that you can get the cross. Now after the cross which is a star in this mega mix cube we want to fix the corner pieces white corner pieces so that we can finish the first layer now i've already got one matched now let's find the other one so other one i can see one here so it has white and the other two colors are are yellow and blue so you want to get it near the yellow and blue middle pieces so you can move the front layer you can say and bring it down so now you see it right here now you can do the or alt till it comes down so or u r prime u prime or u r prime u prime or u r prime u prime so now you can see i have holded the cube a bit tilted because if i do it like this and do the right and follow the right algorithm um we won't be able to do the right movement itself. So I'm holding a cube a bit tilted. You can do the same. Now the other one right here. So this is already on the correct place, but it has to be twisted. So now the white color on the corner piece is on my left side. So I keep it on my left bottom and then do L dash, U dash, L, U. L dash, U dash, L, U. So you see, some other at the time, it's going to come. But it is going to come. Now, next one I can see right here. It has green and red and white, of course. So it has to come right here. So you just bring it here. You can, for me, I can, I just have to do R and U. So it comes up. Now, I, it's on my right side. The white color on the corner piece is on my right side. So that means I can do the right alt. So R, U, R prime, U prime. So see, I've now I just want the last one. So last one is right here. 
and this is the only one which has to come here because it's the last now to bring it over here you can again do r and u now for this case this case is the white color on the corner piece is on my right side then you do the right angle then r u r prime u prime so you see the algorithms were the same for getting the first layer complete in a mega mix so let's do the second layer now now we have to do the second step which is getting these two edge pieces on each and every side so let's start so first one i know this this has purple and green which are available on these five colors so it has to come here first i'll bring it near it by doing any movements so i just got it here and again i'm going to uh, keep my cube a bit tilted so that i can perform the right al perfectly and the left al perfect now you see this one it's this one is matching with the green middle piece and the upper color is purple which are that means this pair has to i mean this edge piece has to come flip down right here so it wants to come on the right side so you have to move the upper layer so that this edge piece goes on the left side of only a bit not the left back now after you get it on the left side you want to do the right alc first so r u r prime u prime to the cube then do the left alc l dash u dash l u so first layer first edge inserted now on to the second layer so i mean the second edge so which is this one this one has green and red which is which is right here these two so we don't want to find the edge pieces for these all colors you only want to find the edge pieces with these two colors see yes now the green and red was right here so first you want to get it in either of these two places so let's get it first you want to take it up and then you match it with the either of them so again you got the older case where you have to take it on your left side because this one this edge piece has to come flip down on your right side now take it on your left by moving the upper layer on the left side and then do r u r prime u prime that twist the cube and do l prime u prime l u you see second edge inserted now the these three left so now let's find this one this yes so blue and red is right here so we want to get it down in either of these two places so this was right here you want to get it on the front face and move the front layer till it comes down so it's matching the same case again where you where you have to get it on your right side flip so now move it to your left again and then do r u r prime u prime just cube l prime u prime l u so yes these two are just remaining now you see this the edge you want to insert right here is in this and the edge i mean it's inserted here now this edge where you want to fit it here is all the way here so when i take either of them out so you don't have to do the upper rotation so r u r prime u prime to the cube l prime u prime l u so see the piece which was here got out now i wanted to get in either of these two so first of all this is going to be in my upper layer now so take it on the upper layer and match it with either of these two see it's matched with purple now again the same case where we want to get it right here now first again on take it on your left side and then do r u r prime u prime to the cube l prime u prime l u 
so see now the last step last one and look at it now it's the i'm getting the same case over and over again now you can get one more case let me just get it yes so now this is the second case where this piece has to come on your left side so if it wants to come on your left side you want to move the upper layer so that this piece comes on your right see i take it to your right and then do uh, the left arc first l dash u dash l u press the q r dash u dash i mean r u r dash u dash and with that i've got this second step complete now we did the second layer now let's do the uh let's finish the cross of each color but you don't want to mess up the first layer and the second layer you just want to get these two edge pieces now just pick up any color i'll go with red now one of it is matching and the other edge is not matching so see you want to get an edge like this just telling you now this this edge piece has to be flipped and brought here so for flipping it you first want to take it on the upper layer so for getting it on the upper layer you can just do r i mean l dash u dash l see it matched with the middle piece yay yeah. now you want to get this piece all the way down here so you can just do the u to move uh, i mean u dash to movements to bring it down or else just move the upper layer till it comes down now the blue one the blue ones is already matched with the pink middle piece and it has to come here so what i like is uh i always like to make it like i have to get this piece all the way right here but now this edge piece has to come here so i don't want that case so let me just bring this down see now this piece has to come all the way here because the algorithm which i'm going to use will be easier on the right side than the left side okay now i want to get this right here i'm going to follow this algorithm i'm going to white on my it should be like this okay you want the white i mean for me as blue so whatever middle piece you have you should keep it in the front and the yellow like it should be near your right bottom then do this algorithm or u r prime u r u dash 2 and r prime so see you got this piece all the way down here now you can get another case let me just try to show it for this uh, for getting this edge piece so this edge piece is with the blue one is right here so it's right here now it is between these two colors i don't want that i want it to be on the upper layer so you can do the r u r prime to get it on the upper layer now after you get it on the upper layer you know bring it near it now see the edge piece is on the correct place but it just has to be flipped now for getting it flip uh, you can do this first of all you want to take it uh, you want to move it on your either of the sides so let's just take it on the right side first after you take it on the right side uh, you just want to bring it down you see this one matched now you know match the other color which is blue with its middle piece and then the this right layer which you tick backwards you want to bring it up so that you get these two matching um yes so now uh, let's go to the yellow one now yellow and green yellow and green its face is right here so none of these two are matching so i can just bring it up on the upper layer with just doing the L movement and after that you want to match it like this now you get the same cage with, which we had for getting this uh, this piece so again right like i said it's easier to do it on the right side so just keep it on the right side now let me show you another case which which you can get so the other cases let me just show you yes so the another case is you have a line kind of stuff only but this piece is not up it's right here 
and one of the color is matching with the middle piece. Now, if you have this case, you want to follow this algorithm. Again, you want to have the holding position the same. White on your right, it should be facing, going on your right bottom. And then do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. You see, with that, we got it up. Now, this was the one way uh, for getting it down. You want to get this piece down here. Now, for getting it, I told you the algorithm before. Let me just show you it again. So, you want the white color, which is done, uh, going on your right bottom. And then, you want to do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U dash 2, R prime. So, you see, we got this piece down here. Now, there's one more way for getting it down. Uh, let me just show you for this one. No, this while getting these two. Now, I need an orange and yellow piece. So, orange and yellow piece is right here. First, you want to get it on the upper layer. Uh, you can just do this R, U, R prime movement to get it up. Now, take it near the color. So, see, now you want to get this piece down. So, again, if this piece wants to get itself flipped. So, first, you want to take it away. Yes. Then bring it down. So that you match it with the middle piece. Fix it with the other color which is yellow for me. And you just want to get this piece which you took away. I mean this layer which you took away. Bring it back with these matching. Now this one. I need an orange and purple. Orange and purple is right here. Now, for getting it, you can again do the U2, I mean, F2 movement. And then you can get, get it up. Now, again, I want to get this down here. So, like I told you before, I'm going to show you one more way if you want to get it down. So, let me just get it. Yes. Now, see, you had a line before. And you want to get this piece down here. So, there's only one algorithm you can get it down. So that, the one which I showed you for this one uh, was the first way. Now let me just show you the second way. Again, you want the white on your right bottom. Then you do this algorithm. R, U2, R prime, U dash, R, U dash, R dash. See, with that algorithm, I got this piece down here. Now, the last three edge pieces. So this I need a blue and purple. Blue and purple is right here. It's already matching with the middle piece. So I just have to do the R R dash two movement to bring it here. Now this piece it's on the correct place, but it just has to be twisted. So again, you can take it on the upper layer. But let me just have this at the front. So f2 then u and then f dash 2 so see this piece got up and this piece didn't mess up now you want to get this piece uh down i mean you want to get this flipped so again you want to get it on your left side now right so first you bring it on your left side by doing u then bring it down so that it matches with the blue middle piece which is in case for me blue and then you match with the other color and these two which you took away you just want to bring it back so you see you got the green one and this one it just got out now the algorithm which i told you again so white on your right bottom it should be facing on your right bottom and then you do this algorithm r u r prime u r u prime u prime to r prime you see first we got this piece up here and then we do the algorithm again so r u r prime u r u2 prime r prime see you got this piece now the last piece which is right here so this again it has to be flipped and placed here 
So now for getting it flipped, you first want to take it on your uh, uh, like right side, which is for me. Match it with the middle piece. Bring it down, and then the one which you took away, bring it back with this mat. Now, as I told you before, the right is easier. But let me just tell you by using the left side. So left side, you want to hold the white going on your left. And then you want to do this algorithm. L dash. U dash. L. U. L dash. U2. And L. You see, you first got it up. Now, you can just do U2. So that you, you can get this piece which was here on the way at the top. Again, you want the white on your left bottom and then you want to do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So see, with that, on each of the side, I've got the star and my first and the second layer done and none of them missing. So now let's get to the next step which is getting these corner pieces correct. Now, we saw how to do these two edges. Now, we want to do these corner pieces. So, for the corner pieces, all you want to do is choose any one. But, let me just tell you one tip before doing it. Now, see, you can't go color-wise. So, you can't just do, first I'll do red, then I'll do blue, then I'll do yellow. You, you won't, you can't do that. Because some of these, uh, the pieces, the corner pieces which you want can be all the way here, which which will be hard to remove out. So, just see how many pieces you can get and then switch to the other color. Now, let's start with the uh, first one. Let's just go with this one because it has red. I'm going to start with red. Now, this has to come all the way here. And that also, after you get it down he uh, here, let me just twist it. See, you want the red to be up after you twist it. So, you want it like that. Now, if you want to get it down, you want to do the right tag till it comes on the proper case we want. So, I'm holding white, white at the bottom and then do R, U, R prime, U prime. So see, it came down, but it's not at the correct position. Now, if you have this kind of case where now I'm holding the blue at the bottom now. So this kind of piece, it came down where we wanted, but red is not on the top. So that's how we want it. Now, if you have this case, you just want to hold the cube like this and then do the left algorithm. L dash, U dash, L u l dash u dash l u so see you got it flipped now your red can be here too i'll just show you by getting some of them now you want to bring it down for bringing it down uh, again you want to hold have a base color so have red so red has to come all the way here so i want to keep this as my face uh front bottom Okay, and then do this al the right algorithm till it comes down. So, R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. See, you got this piece correctly and none of the other colors messed. Now, let's uh, try this one. So for me, I have the lucky case where I have all of them on the upper layer. But um, sometimes you won't even get this kind of case. Now, I have this case. Let me just show you. Now, again, you want to bring it in the case where on um, I have this. I have on a finished red. So you want the red to be up. So suppose this is the corner piece with the red. So red should be up here. So now, I have to get this one all the way here so that red is up. So you want to hold it like this, white at the bottom, and then do R, U, R prime, U prime. So the piece did got down, but 
red is not up. Now, again, you want to do the right angle. R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. So see, again, it's not up. Again, you want to do the right angle till it comes. So R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. So see, you can get it like this. Now you can see I'm changing my holding position. So if you want to get this corner piece uh, position correctly, you want to have the white at the bottom and then do the right arm. But if you want to get this piece down here, you want to have one of the colors at, as your base. And as this, this color has blue on it, I want the blue as my uh, left left color so that means my white comes on my left bottom then i just want to do the r alk till it comes properly down here so r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime so see you got these two down now for getting this one if you have all of them up you can again do the right alt till it comes down by the white white down so r u r prime u prime so see i showed you how to get it for one color now we got the red side done and in the same way you want to do all of the colors so let's now, do it i did all of my bottom five colors now we want to do the upper five colors so you see the first layers already done because while doing these five colors which are already done for me now uh, we we did these edge pieces we matched them and the corner pieces so the first layer for the upper five colors is done now we want to do the second layer so for second layer i'm going to show you an another method for getting this piece down because for this again i'm not going to use that method but you can use it so now for getting it down first you want to get this piece down here so let's just hold it like this you are you dash a dash you dash f dash u f so see we got this piece down and let me show you for one more so we're gonna get this piece down here too. You just want to again do you that's for getting this piece down here. Okay. Now so first you are you dash r dash u dash f dash u and f see uh Yes, I got the second one done and I just have to get the last one. Now the last one, I want to get it on my left side. So for getting it on the left side, you just want to hold it like this. So first you want to do U dash, then L dash, U, L, U, F, U dash and F dash. So see, with that, I've got my second layer done. Now let's do the upper layer. So we saw how to do the first five colors, the first bottom colors and the white, and the upper five colors second layer. So after the second layer, we are almost done. We just want to do the upper layer now. So for the upper layer also, first you want to make a, a star, which is like a yellow cross in a three by three. Then next, you want to get these pieces matching correctly. And then you want to get these corner pieces. So first, you want to get this star. So for getting this star, you will um, you will not get the dot keys. First, you'll get only one of them edges matching. So you want the one of the edges matching on your left side. And then do the algorithm. F, R, U, R prime u prime f prime so after you do that see you got a l kind of thing now
after the L, you want these these three going upwards, like one of them going there, one of them going at your um, right back, and one of them on your left. Then you do the same algorithm again. F R U R prime U prime F prime. So you see, after that case, you'll get the arrow case. So arrow it can point anywhere, but you just want it to get pointing on your right side. So you see, this is the point you want it to come on your right side. Now after you do it, you just want to follow the algorithm. F R U R prime U prime F prime. So see, with that we have got the star. Now let's get these edges matching with the colors now i've got one of them matching so the one if you have one of them matching you want to keep it on your left side and then do this algorithm r u r prime u r u prime to r prime so see you got two of them matching so if you have two of them matching you want to keep one on the front and one on your right uh, and one on your left side and then do this algorithm r u r prime u r u prime to r prime so see you won't get it in the first shot but if you just follow the algorithm once or twice it may come after doing these edge pieces we have to do the corner pieces and for the corner pieces uh, you can have one of the matching so if you have one of the matching you want to follow this algorithm and for this algorithm you want to hold this the one which is properly fixed just uh, not flipped properly oriented properly this is going to be your right layer this is going to be your left layer okay now the algorithm so l dash u dash i mean u r u dash l u r dash u dash see now i've got one of them correct and let's see if we have any of them others so yes i've got this one so now if you want to escape out of this case you want you want to have you want to have the holding position like this so one of them you want to have at your right back so right back is right here and the another one is near the middle for me so see it's at the middle for me now uh, for this case this case you want to move the right layer up on once and then do the same algorithm so l dash u r u dash l u r dash and u dash now after you do u dash the layer which you took up you want to bring it back see after you do that you have got all of the corner pieces correct and you just want to orient them back now i got all of the corner pieces correctly it's just not oriented properly so for oriented properly you want to hold this star at the bottom the uh, white on the up and for flipping it you want to do the right arc but also for the right arc you want to hold the cube a bit twisted so that your star is facing at your right bottom and if it is facing on your right bottom after uh, having it a bit tilted you want to do the right arc till it comes down so r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime so you see it has come down but it's not again oriented properly so we do the right arc till it comes again so r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime see this one got correct but the upper thing missed <laughs> messed up so while you're doing the other ones you will get it now on to the second one so for the second one you don't want to move the few full cube you just want to move the down layer so that you get the other one at your right bottom again 
you want to do the algorithm right algorithm till it comes down so r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime so you see this uh, part i mean these all which were messed before have gotten back but my these corner pieces have not so again you can what you can do is match the ones which are done and again do the same thing for the other ones so you want to hold the cube a bit twisted and then i mean the star going at your right bottom facing at your right bottom and then do the algorithm so r u r prime u prime 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 so you see it got down and just do it till it comes correctly now again the second one you move the down layer so that you get the second one i mean the next one and then you do the al right algorithm till it comes down so r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime and then you just want to match um these edge pieces with its middle piece color so see our mega mix cube is solved so it was really easy right i hope you like this video and sure to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon like my video and share my video thank you and merry christmas to all of you okay so what's the first thing you get in your mind for christmas of course santa claus and lots of lots of gifts so in this video you're going to uh, like you're going to make some things for christmas in cubes okay so these are going to be two videos first we are going to make the patterns the christmas patterns in the snake cube 24 wedges and 36 wedges and in the second part we're going to make the christmas patterns for the rubik's cube 3 by 3 to 7 by 7 okay so let's get started with the snake cube pack i never made it but i know i did take some
doing for the video is the gift box. Hey, but what's this doing over here? Yes, you're gonna need this for this pattern. This is the gift loop pattern. And in this 3x3, we're gonna make the gift box pattern. So gift box plus gift box creates a proper gift. And if you wanna know how to make this, I've given a link in the description below, which is the Christmas special part one. You can also watch that. Okay, so now let's get moving on for making the gift box pattern. So first, you wanna hold it anyhow, like this, then do you and this, this is the algorithm. You, B2, then R2, B2, L2, F2, R2, D dash, F2, L2, B, F dash, L, F2, B, U dash, R2, F dash, L dash, and then R dash. <gasps> wow! This is the gift box pattern. And over here, the gift bow. So this is the first pattern complete. Okay, so the next pattern is in the Rubik's Cube 4x4. And the pattern is the cross pattern on every side. Okay, so the this is also an algorithm pattern. And for this, hold it like any how you want. I want it like this. And then do the algorithm, which is U dash, F dash, B, R2, U dash 2, R2, F, B dash, U dash 2, R2, and then finally, U dash. Ooh, so this algorithm was a bit shorter than the gift box, but the output which you get, that is also very cool, right? Okay, so this is your second pattern complete. Okay, so this is the third pattern, which is making the smile pattern in the 5 by 5 And we are gonna make a different kind of smile in the 6 by 6 too. So for making this smile, you have to know how to make donut in the 3 by 3 So for donut, you can see we do these kind of movements. Right? Yes. So that's how we make a donut. So we have to do the same thing with these two pieces. Now suppose these two are the middle pieces. These all are the middle pieces of the 3 by 3 And you just want to switch all of them to make this one eye so how do you do it first take it down then move this layer like that so you get another color here you move it up like that so you can see you have got one of it here and all the others and then you want to move the layer which you took like this back see on all of the sides you have one of the eye now you want to do the same thing but with this layer so First bring it down, then move, you want to switch this with this, just do it, like that, bring this one up, and the layer which you took like this, bring it back. See, two eyes on each of the side. Now you want to get this kind of, like this line. How do you do it? Take all of this whole middle piece down, then move this layer like that now the layer for the middle piece which you took down bring it back up and then this bring it back like that see your smile pattern in the fabric file is done on each of the sides so this is your third pattern complete okay so now we're gonna make 
the different smile in the 6x6 somewhat like this so again you want to bring these like two eyes like you brought in there so first take this one lay down then move this one like that and the layer which you took down bring it back up so that you get this one eye but never forget to bring this layer back like that now for the other eye bring it back bring it down then move this layer like that so that you get this the one which was here over here then bring this which you took down up and again don't forget to bring it like this see two so i done on all of the sides now you're going to get these two so these two how do you get them again just like like how you got these eyes but just on these less so again bring this down then move this layer so that this piece comes over this or on this place like that and then bring it back up and again don't forget to bring this back to its place okay now this one bring it down then take this piece over here by moving this layer like that now this layer which you took down up and this don't forget to make it back like that okay now you just want to get these two so that it creates a smile so bring only these two down and just get this layer like that take again these only two layers up and then these like that great so this is your smile complete okay so now this is a second last cube which is the 7 by 7 and in the 7 by 7 we're going to make three patterns one is the cross like this cross the crescent cross then the reindeer and then finally a tree a christmas tree fine so let's make the first one which is the cross so for making the cross you're going to bring this much over here so move the middle layer down just one of it now you want to take all of these all of these over here like that and then move this up see you got this but now you want to move this back to its place like that one line on each of the sides now you want to get these two so how do you get these two so if you want to get them in just one step move both of them down like that so it, okay then like this then move only these two layers up like that and remember which layer you took like that bring it back hooray you have the cross done on all of the sides so this is the cross complete okay so let's make the second one in the 7x7 which is making the reindeer so for the reindeer you're going to have to bring this this much square with this middle properly so first take all of these three middles down then you're going to move again these three layers only these three layers not the last one then the layer which you took down up and then like that okay then you want to bring these two so first bring both of them down if you want to do it in one then okay so you can't bring them in one basically you want to do move this middle layer that bring it up and then do it like this then now you want to get this this piece over here so bring this one down full layer then this move this middle layer like that then this whole layer up and this thing back like that and now you want to get these two so get both of them down 
then this whole layer like that these two layers up together and then this layer like that see most of it is complete now i just want to bring these two pieces so bring these two layers down like that then bring this layer like this this top layer of the middle then again bring the two layers up which you brought down and then like this so this is your reindeer complete on all the sides okay so the last pattern in the 7x7 is the christmas tree everyone's favorite okay so for this christmas tree it is like this first bring this only middle layer down then this orange piece like that or any color which you're taking move this middle layer up again and then like this see one one on each of the sides now this three pieces you're gonna bring it down so for this three i'm gonna bring the whole three middle three layers of middle like that then move this over just like that and bring this back now you want to get these two five five all of them so you can take hold this much down then move this these two layers like that then these two up and then like that yes so now you just want to stand at the park so bring first layer down middle layer down again only one then this layer back up and then like that okay so this is your christmas tree complete but one more thing i like to have these things red so just take this sides red to make like this so it's awesome okay so now let's make last pattern which is the star pattern in the mega mix cube so first you want to hold this blue at the top top the dark blue and this is an algorithm is so blue on the top white in front then do or you are like the right algorithm three times then twist the cube and then move the upper layer anti-clockwise and, and you want to do the same thing on all of the sides till you come over here again okay so r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime then twist the cube move the upper layer anti-clockwise r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime twist the cube move the upper layer anti-clockwise R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime twist the cube upper layer anti clockwise R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime move the twist the cube move the upper layer anti clockwise R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime. Twist the cube, move the upper layer anti clockwise. R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. So, yippee! You've got these of all of them done. Now, twist the cube twice so that you can get over here. And we are going to do R U R prime U prime. The same thing, but don't twist the cube like this. Push it like this and do a U. Okay, so okay, so let's start. R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. Push the cube like this and do an U. Then R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. R U R prime U prime. Push the cube, do a new, 
आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम टूस्ट यू डिवन यू आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम टूस्ट यू डिवन यू आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम टूस्ट यू डिवन यू आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम आर यू आर फ्रॉम यू प्राइम एंड ऑफ हेयर we have done with the r u r from u prime part and now we are going to move on different algorithms okay so this is our step 2 for making this mega mix 10 star pattern complete so the algorithm goes like this u prime r prime u l prime u prime r u l prime u prime or prime u then l prime then again u prime or u l prime u prime or prime u l prime u prime or you see we have done with five stars now we just have to do this so this is the third step of making this 10 star pattern complete okay so this is the last algorithm for making this 10 star pattern okay and the algorithm is l dash or u or prime u prime 2 L U two, I mean U two, then R U prime, R prime, U prime, L prime, U and L. Okay, so this is our. third i mean fourth step complete so what the last algorithm did was it made these two stars so you want to make this have this on the front and then do the algorithm again so l dash r u r prime u prime to l u to r u prime r prime u prime l prime u and l so hooray so this is our last pattern complete the 10 star pattern